Hey there, guys. Biggie Dude doing uh, American Idol uh, auditions from Milwaukee. And from uh, 126 2011, 53 people went through. Here's the ones that we saw that uh, I can actually talk about. These are the good ones. I'm not going to do the bad ones anymore uh, because it doesn't matter. Because that's their one shot. Whatever. All right, here we go. Uh, Scotty McCreary, he's 16. He's a country bass kid dude. It's very interesting. Low voice, dude. Low voice. Um, the, the thing I worry about him... Uh, is it's going to be hard to sing things out of style. But who knows what they're going to do. I heard that they're not going to do like those theme weeks that they have always done in the past. Um, so I don't know. If he just sings country the whole time, it, who knows. But uh, very deep voice for a 16-year-old and uh, very, very good talent for country. Uh, Emma Henry, I love this little girl. She's 15. Uh, she sang True Colors. She, I don't think she's old enough. Um, I, I definitely agree with Steven that there's something there. Um, but there's just something about that girl that, uh, you know, it's just really cool. But uh, maybe she she probably will get eaten up in the, you know, Hollywood week. But if she uh, sticks to her guns and just opens her mouth, and who knows? I mean, she's really got a, a, probably something interesting going on. Uh, Naima, Adi I can't say her name. Dita Dapo. She's really cool. Uh, she was the one with the really cool hair. Uh, she sounds like Alicia Keys combined with Lauren Hill, and they're both good. Uh, she could go really far, I think, perhaps. Definitely in the top 40, I think. Uh, Jerome Bell, let's get it on. Uh, loved his high falsetto. It was really good. Um, J-Lo says, remember that name. He's good. I don't know how. I don't know if he's that good. Uh, we just have to see what format Halloween or Halloween Hollywood Week is. Burp. And uh, you know, because everybody can get burned up in those trio things. You know, Thea McGee, fifteen years old. Hey, does that name sound a little familiar? That's because she was on America's Got Talent last year, and she was really good. Uh, she just got it. Uh, she didn't win the, the voices, uh, the, the judges vote when, uh, she, cause she placed in that, uh, you know, fourth, fifth spot or whatever, or how I can't remember. It's been like six months, but, uh, you know, I'm not surprised to see her back and, you know, 15 years old sounds great. And, uh, you know, she's in, I bet you she's, uh, she's got a lot of potential. If she makes it to the top 40 round, people are going to remember her from, America's Got Talent. I swear to God, they will. Um, and she's got a lot of talent, and she could be top 10 potential simply because a lot of people know her already. Um, and you know what they're really doing this year? They're really pushing the 15-year-old thing. They're really pushing it. You know, almost everybody that they're showing is a young person. Uh, Molly DeVos Swenson, she's the one that got, she's the Harvard girl. She got hit in the head by a uh, dog. That was pretty funny. Uh, great, smooth, Colby Calais type of voice. Uh, may, I think she's a major talent. You know, obviously she's one of those people that can do anything because Harvard, working at the White House as an intern. She's one of those people that could go very far, I think. Uh, she's very tall, too, which I like. Um, Haley Reinhardt, who is 18. She did the old darling. Uh, she's got some potential there, I, you know. Taiwan Strong, he's 29. He's got a good old school vibe. I liked it. Uh, the Big Steve, Big Goon, <laughs> you know, he kind of reminded me of Aaron Neville a little bit. You know, he's 27. He's really tall. Very interesting, higher voice. You know, very, I, I don't know. It, it could, you know, depending on what they do in Hollywood, you know, there's, there's potential here. I don't see him going to the top 40, though, but you never know. It's all the formats, and that's one thing that we don't know. Uh, Scott Dangerfield, 22. He's got a neat bluesy sound. Uh, I like his voice a lot. You know, he's got a lot of charisma. He's like, you know, I was making out with a girl backstage, blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, very, very charismatic. Kind of kind of clay-ish, but not, but wait. He's like the cool Clay Aiken, the bad Clay Aiken or something, you know. Um, but straight. Uh, Allison Jados, the 26 year old, she reminds me of Crystal Bower socks a lot. Um, she almost didn't make it, but, uh, I really like her, you know, uh, but she's got to sing more than four notes in a song. That's the problem with dream on, you know, and, uh, the other song that I already forgot. 
Uh, Chris Medina, you know, what a great story. You know, what a what a what a great. You know, that's what that's one of those things. He would have made it on his voice alone, but uh, that's just a great story. But of these of these people, the ones I think that really have the most the best chance uh, would be probably Naima Adidapo, the girl I can't say her name at all. Um, I think uh, Thea McGee definitely, and um, probably Scott Dangerfield. I would think those are the the top three. I think out of this group. You know, Chris Medina has got so you know a lot of these people that there's a lot of else, uh, a lot of good things to say, but uh, these are just my opinions, and you don't have to agree. Okay, peace out, bye.